What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel. It's Dev. We're here. Always Sunny Season 7 Episode 4... 5. Episode 5. Last on, you know, D got audited by the good old IRS. You also had uh, Frank and, and Dennis play the roles of Republicans and Democrats. Uh, and then you had... You know, Mac and, and Charlie play the role of, you know, the third party, the, the Pickles party, the Libertarian party, the Green party, whatever party that always is like that. And, you know, the issue was, uh, you know, they just wanted to have a say in what was going on at work. They wanted to democratize the workplace. And, hey, I would say that's pretty based, regardless of how emotional human beings are. Um, yeah. It was a good episode. Very funny shit. Very funny shit. There was a lot of stuff I liked, especially with, like, um, Frank when he was like, oh, I just write down the ship. Corporations. Get money all the way out there. We have control power. It's great. It's fucking hilarious. And he was writing down fake shit. What was it? Wolf soda. Oh, my God. That was so funny. That was, that was good. And he did it at the fucking funeral for a fake dead baby that was a dog. Yeah, it was very wild. Very wild. That was a great episode. Let's get into Season 7, Episode 5. In 3, 2, 1... What you do, D? I'm saying that if I were a cop, I would have an Uzi. Well, but I'm an Uzi? The police force would never issue you an Uzi, and so that's, now That's what? not her point, though. That's not though. what we're talking that's about. That's not my... Thank you, Charlie. I'm, listen, if you had the choice, would you choose to carry one gun that shoots one bullet, or would you choose to carry an Uzi, one gun that shoots a thousand bullets in one second? Yeah, you're I, shooting bullets I agree with hundred percent. Right? I mean, she's absolutely right. Oh, look, look, people coming at you from every angle. Frank, honestly, if you're going to join in the conversation, will you swallow your food and then speak? It's disgusting. Yeah, hey, Frank, what are you eating over there? Uh, a hoagie. You are not eating a hoagie. You are just jamming meats and cheeses inside of your mouth. I like to make it in my mouth. It tastes better. Oh, Jesus, just spitting. Says brother. You piece of shit! You son of a bastard! Now this is interesting. Yeah, yeah. Now, do we break this up? No, 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 don't break it up. I want to see. How <laughs> He's going for the going beer bottle. Oh, okay. Well, that seemed to settle it. Yep. Okay, all right, okay, all right. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, all right. All right. Okay, all right. Who is this man? My goddamn brother! Oh, that's great. I can't get over the food, though. That's so disgusting. Uh, Danny DeVito does a great job <laughs> with portraying just being disgusting. That's one thing he's good at. And there's probably something in his past where he was disgusting. brother yeah what gives frank you told us your brother was dead yeah you said that he had his gut sucked out of his asshole through a hot tub drain you told that to my own niece and nephew uh well technically sir he's not our father which would mean you're not our uncle yeah we thought he was for a long time and then as it turns out you know what it's a whole thing so. yeah let's how could they do this to me frankie do what gino you know what i'm talking about you're trying to steal her from me she's my woman you stole it from me first well you stole her back oh whoa whoa who the hell are you guys talking about the love of my life. Well, this has got more interesting. I'm going to pull up a seat. And this just got very yeah. interesting, Frank. Why don't you walk us through this? Uh, I'm not dragging this shit up again. This is ancient history. No, ancient no, history. It was back in the 60s. I'm going to jump in for a second because it sounds like you're about to launch into a whole thing. Is it going to take a long time? My attention span is very short. That's a valid concern. It'll take a <laughs> That's a valid concern. I, 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 right. Okay. Well, we might pop in and out. Yeah. Eventually. You know, our generation, it's like... Yeah. yeah you want to make it funny or something? Give it some flavor. Yeah. Okay. It was in the... Same. Our generation is as well. Every generation has a short attention span. If you were looking for me, you'd find me at a happening little jazz club on the north side of town. It was an all-black joint. Blacks played the best music. Not that I gave a shit. I got a tin here. It all sounded like a bunch of noise to me. Uh, Gee, I was... I ain't hiring another one of your bimbos, Gino. This bimbo is my little brother. 
He's here every night for the music. He's more Negro-ish than anybody else in this club. <laughs> Gino! How would you like to work here? Would I ever? I love the music, sir. He's just a kid. How old are you, boy? 19. See, you don't look a day over 12. I'll do anything. I was a day out. over 12? My brother in Christ. <laughs> One night, I heard the voice of an angel. No, not her. Keep going. <laughs> That's her. The one out of your cat's meow. That was Sha Dynasty. Gotta stop you. Good time to stop you. Sha Dynasty. The love of your life was a black woman named Sha Dynasty? Yeah. So what's wrong with that? Well, the, 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 there's nothing wrong with it. You know, it's strange. It's just it's unexpected. Strange. It's just yeah. unexpected. That's strange. Sha Dynasty. Well, go on, though. All right, all right. All right so it was late one. <laughs> <laughs> Doing my usual routine. Are you, are you Just kidding? eating the. That's disgusting. If I want to that is. I've had people, people do that at work. That shit's yeah, disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just be cool, Daddy. Don't cool. get this bitch out of my yeah, sight. Get this bitch out of my sight. Hey, Frankie here's gonna take you home, and I'm gonna talk to Reggie. He old enough to drive. Sure. What was the driving age in the 60s? Oh my god. Silence. Until I finally got the nerve to speak to her. You got a huge set on you. Excuse me? Pipes, you got a great voice. Oh. 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 I'm gonna open a jazz joint of my own someday. An integrated place where blacks and whites can get along. No Orientals, though. No Orientals. You gotta have a dream, I guess. Still somehow gotta make it racist. Cha, I ain't nothing but a backup singer. Oh, no. You're the real true star, Sha Dynasty. You just need a sky to shine in. Okay. <laughs> if I you were flirting with me. White man, get down! <laughs> Whoa! Why were you shoving your head down? You did not want to be caught out in the street in those days with a negress. They tear you apart. Negress? What? That's what pretty crazy to say that. That's a, that's a wild thing to say. We're talking 60s terms. Okay. Okay. Okay, you use right. those terms. All right. You All right. Have, you shouldn't have. Did you open the club or what? Fair enough. Yes, <laughs> I did. With hard work and perseverance. Oh, shit. We opened a club with my gambling money. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, we opened... Shady nasties? Your dynasty there. <laughs> Frankie's dreams were coming true. Hmm. But sometimes dreams come at a price. Well, well, well. Ain't this some shit? Ain't this some hey. shit? How you doing? I'm not good, Frankie. Gave you everything. Then you go and take my best bitch. I'm not any. Oh my god, is that um Oh my god. I'm with Frank now. Who you with her now? Is that Lance Reddick? I guess that don't leave me with no choice. If it is, rest in peace, man. But to be a mature ass adult about this shit, <laughs> I'm working on my temper. <laughs> I'm working you know, on my temper. That I strongly disagree with this. I mean, at the '60s, race no mixing no. was probably a luck, controversial topic. Oh, oh. oh. Nah. you know what are you doing? Oh. Saving your life. Run, Frankie. Run. Oh, Run. oh no. Off. Me and Reggie. I got two years in the slammer, and Reggie got six. Oh, oh my, my God. God. After death, he was black. Those were the days. <laughs> you sound like you yearn for those days, yeah. Frank. No, I'm just saying those were the days. <laughs> uh, anyway, by the time I got... Oh, my God, Frank. The 70s had arrived. Ah, oh, bro, so 
Oh, oh my god. Frank's fit. I really missed you. Oh. I missed What the shit is that? Uh, yep. little bump of coat. It's the 70s, baby. See that? Okay. Well, I was busting my ass running the club <laughs> wherever I could. Gina was just having one big party. Okay. 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 I never danced with no guys. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. No, 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 no. I'm gonna tell you how it went. Okay. First off, I was banging babes left and right, left and right. Oh, oh, oh. My past came back to bite me. Get lost, Bimbo. Gino. Reggie. It is. You're out of prison. It ain't Reggie no more. It's Hakeem Muhammad. Oh my Reggie. God. Prison changed me. I'm a Black Panther now. Yeah. We shit the hell is he? Oh my God, the Indiana Jones type shit. I occupied my mind, immersing myself in the culture, taking in the cuisine, but mostly doing cocaine. <laughs> Oh, I love this. That part was a blast, actually. <laughs> Weeks turned into months, and months turned into years. But I had to weed myself off. Ooh, yeah. I saw my brother. With Sha Dynasty. I love your one and only. I should have destroyed these like I destroyed the letters from Columbia. What? You destroyed the letters I wrote to Shad Dynasty? I intercepted and I read every one of them. They were poetry. Each one was more beautiful than the last. Here, meet me at the airport at Friday at 5 o'clock Terminal C. Love your one and only. You are trying to steal it from me, Frankie, and I ain't gonna let you. Chino, Chino. I like to see you. <laughs> Last time I saw you, I guess black can crack. <laughs> uh, that's still, still kind of racist. Yeah, that's it's racist. Is anybody hungry? It's not the same. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, let's go eat. Danny's starving again. He, he ate a shit ton of, of bread and cheese and meat. How was he still hungry? I mean, that's just, that's incredible, ladies and gentlemen, that, that was another top tier episode, a good deep lore into, into, uh, Frank's life with his brother Gino, Lance Reddick, oh, Lance Reddick is, is great, rest in peace, man, rest in peace, he was a great actor, Obviously, John Wick. This. He's a big Destiny guy. Ah, but what an episode, man. Frank was pretty racist this episode. I will say that. Even though the love of his, lo what, the love of his life was a black woman. So, it counteracts it, I guess. Um, Reggie had a pretty big arc. He's a club owner. And then a Black Panther Party guy, you know, a revolutionary, probably a true revolutionary. And then got sent back to jail and then lived his life with the Shid Dynasty and he's on a no-fly list and times still don't change. <laughs> oh, God. What a wild episode. The cocaine scene was amazing. That was so good.
That was so fucking good. I loved it. Oh, God. It was good shit. For sure. I love the the heart to heart like at the end there like it's like you the, the letters being ripped apart like Danny was like that was a good performance by Danny DeVito it was really good it was really fucking good I enjoyed it quite a bit but I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction if you did please like subscribe hit the notification bell for daily videos every single day follow me on Twitter Twitch TikTok and Instagram and all the <coughs> social media is down in the description below and we'll catch ya for another video goodbye.